Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be doing another vlog for <coughs> uh, 118 diecast model, and this one is from Auto uh, Porsche 911 GT2 RS. It's a very amazing model and with the very good features in it and with carbon fiber effect going on with it uh, which auto art is quite amazing in doing it and it's a die cast model not a composite or something like that so it is an old version of auto art and it's an old model i exactly don't know which year it is if you guys know please do let me please do let me know but uh, I'm not pretty sure which year it is, but uh, it's an amazing model in white color with black carbon fiber effect in it. So yeah, so let me move towards the model and show you guys the model and describe, see the details in this model, which are really amazing. And the specs are really amazing in this model. So I really wanted to share it with you guys. So yeah, guys. Yeah guys, GT2 RS in white color, it's uh, an old, uh, I think it's something around about 2015 or 14 model, but uh, or 13 probably, from the lights I can recognize it's an old 13 model or 14, but it's an amazing model <clears throat> in white color with black carbon fiber effect in it from AutoArt. And the specs are really amazing, as you can see, with a big huge <coughs> splitter in the front and the <coughs> openings in the bumper as well, and in the front as well, uh, below the number plate. And in the center, we get the number plate. The light quality is quite amazing in this model. Really well replicated lights from them. Really like the light. Uh, which is really in the crystal and all the lines and everything is quite amazing and then comes the main bonnet which is all in carbon fiber as you can see <coughs> with the fry uh, sorry with the Porsche badge on the bonnet and it's all in black carbon fiber matte finish which is really a good sign of it I mean I mean huge carbon fiber effect on the bonnet and furthermore there is more carbon fiber like the mirrors they are in carbon fiber texture over here and the glass is solid uh, plastic glass which is quite good and the quality of uh, wipers is quite amazing I mean they are stick there and then the wheels it's a center uh, center lock wheels with a yellow brick calipers, amazing combination. Uh, you'll see in a while with the interior as well, which is quite amazing. And the wheels are the GT2 RS series wheel. I mean, back there, they were like this, which is the trend maker probably, but really like the front splitter and the way it is uh, coming out from the end as well. So covered with a side indicator probably and then we have a GT2 RS logo on the door and the, she uh, the door windows are also in the same plastic as the rest of the car and then the back view mirror as well, the back side mirrors are good quality as well and this scoop over here is giving a carbon fiber effect just like the bonnet. I don't know whether it's visible on the camera or not but it's really amazing and it's basically for the radiator and the brakes at the back to cool them down and yeah and then we have a big spoiler at the back not that big but it's a big spoiler with the crystal lights which are really good quality and of course GT2 RS logo in the center at the back and a back uh, indicator light, indication light and then two exhaust tips in silver and with the diffuser with some openings over here as the diffuser has and you can see through the <coughs> diffuser towards the exhaust 
which is the paint quality is quite good and really amazing it is a cage bar car so you can see there is a cage bar over here in the matte black color or gray probably let me show you yeah so it's really an amazing model overall so let me open the bonnet for you guys and see what's in there really good quality work the hinges over here are of steel or aluminium with screws on it so you can unscrew and remove the bonnet so that is quite good and AutoArt used to make such kind of things really good and very accurate and we have a small luggage area with all the carpeted material in it and rest is all plastic and very well finished plastic die I mean over here with all the good qualities and on this underneath the bonnet it's all black matching the top with the bottom so yeah it's a die cast so it's quite heavy and good but it stands still so that is good so now I was what I was telling you about the interior red and black as you can see and you can see on the steering you have a little small over there a yellow effect which is quite good and the red and black is a very good combination the seats are in bucket and all the gadgets and speedometers indications are really good and looking at the door side panels as you can see red and black again and we have a fabric material over here for pulling the door probably which is quite good detail in it and the seat belts are in red color just like the steering half black half red so which is really amazing and uh, the underneath is all carpeted material which is soft and good to have let me show you from the other side for a clear view so you can see from here the dashboard the gear gear lever is in red the handbrake is in red as well and handbrake lever so it's quite a good model i mean you can see and the specs are quite good i mean red and black i mean they are adjustable because it <clears throat> mostly they have all the red and which is very for me i mean i don't like all the red in in the in the car interior but some people do like it so they spec it but this is a good spec i mean balanced spec i will say for the inner side in inner interior red and black so yeah and now we'll talk about the engine a small engine opening over here at the back and you can see a little bit of it and some description over here and yeah this black area is all giving a carbon fiber effect over here so maybe you guys won't be visit it won't be visible in the camera but it is all carbon fiber effect over here and then we have the exhaust pipes running around and then it's all hidden so yeah so let me show you from underneath how it looks so this is how it looks from underneath all the engine and exhaust and everything is at the back which is quite good and visible they have made it very accurately and then we have the branding auto art and all that other stuff and then the tire quality rubber quality is quite good as well I mean they are they have done a good job in it and it's a very good thing I mean the quality of tires are really good in these models and, te and the texture as well according to the original car and it does have a, some little writing over here which is not visible from me but uh, it can be from some distance or with some I mean to focus it and you can see it what it is but overall it's a very good model and really love it I have it for a long time and I'm really enjoying this model but who knows if I get a good offer for this model maybe I'll sell it maybe I don't but 
then now it's here with me and uh, I'm enjoying it so yeah guys so I hope you enjoyed the video and please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel and yeah see you in the next video soon so take care and goodbye